Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss the calculation of cash flows from investing activities. While we have previously discussed this topic in detail, let's quickly recall that cash flows from investing activities represents the cash transactions that are related to the purchase and sale of long-term assets and investments. Long-term assets means the assets like we machinery, plant, equipment, or any vehicle. Whereas investments are uh, the investment by the company in other uh, companies like the purchase of stock of other companies or the bonds of other companies. So these are uh, investments. So we have inflows from investing activities and outflows from investing activities. Um, in short, investing activities these are all about how a company is using its cash to grow or change its asset base, whether by acquiring or purchasing new assets or making loan or selling off the existing assets. Or these assets include a long-term assets as well as investments. So we are going to practice um, the calculation of um, invest cash flows from investing activities from the book of financial and managerial accounting by William Zaka Bettner. Okay, class. So here we have the prop, uh, brief exercise 13.5 and we have um, investments, the company purchase investments. So these are the investing activities as we have discussed, as we have just discussed that uh, the investment, sale or purchase of investments are part of investing activities like we have uh, plant assets. So whenever the company purchase uh, these uh, assets, or invest, uh, the company invest in these assets, this means that this is the outflow from investing activities. Moreover, we have, uh, you can see the company sold plant assets and a, uh, at a gain of 6,000. So uh, the gain is also here uh, by selling this plant asset. And then the company also purchased treasury stock. So treasury to purchase of treasury stock is also given and sold uh, a new issue of common stock. So class, um, we have just discussed that uh, the purchase or sale of investments and plant assets, uh, the part of uh, cash flows from investing activities while uh, the gain on investing activities, we represent the gain or loss on investing activities in cash flows from operating activities. So um, we are not going to add or subtract this gain um, in cash flows from investing activities. And likewise, treasury stock is a part of uh, cash flows from financing activities. So we will not uh, adjust treasury stock in investing activities and similarly showing a new stock is a part of financing activities. So we are going to calculate cash flows from investing activities. So here we have cash flows from investing activities. So first of all, the company purchased investments. So the company paid cash paid from uh, cash paid for investments in other companies. So it is 45,000. So we are going to deduct it $45,000 or we represent it in dollar amount. Then again, we have a purchase of plant assets. So company paid cash paid for plant assets, which is minus 127,000 because company paid it. So this is, this represent outflows. And then the company sold plant asset. So proceeds from 
sales of plant assets, which is cash inflow, which is 66,000. This 66,000 represent total cash inflows from um, sale of plant assets, which includes the gain in it. So this gain uh, will be exclusively uh, classified as cash flows from operating activities. That's why we are not adding uh, or subtracting it here. So we have total. So this is minus. This means that net cash, cash used by or used in investing activities. All amount are in dollar. So here we have dollar sign. And this is our total answer. We have included only cash flows from investing activities, that is, those transactions that are exclusively related with the purchase or sale of investments or fixed assets or you can say long-term assets. Other transactions like uh, purchase of treasury stocks or issuance of common stock, these are the part of other activities like financing activities or gain uh, in case of operating activities. So we have just included because investing activities are required. So we have just included cash flows from investing activities. This is exercise 13.13 in front of you. The company provides the following information related to the investing as well as the financing activities. These are the cash receipts and cash payments and calculate first requirement is to calculate the net amount of cash provided by or use for investing activities only so um, we have uh, uh, we have sale of common stock so sale of common stock is a part of financing activities so we are not going to add it then sale of equipment yes sale of long term asset is a part of investing activities and the sale of land, sale of land is also a part of investing activities. Then uh, while cash payment is for purchase of equipment, so purchase and sale of any long-term assets or any investment is a part of investing activities. So we are going to add it or subtract it. The other is uh, um, purchase of treasury stock. Uh, as we have discussed in the previous problem, that purchase of treasury stock is a part of financing activities. So no, we are not going to add it. Retirement of uh, debt. So retirement of debt is also again, uh, or repayment of debt is the part of financing activities. And dividends on preferred stocks. So dividends are also again, uh, we either present dividend uh, in financing activities or uh, operating activities. So these are uh, we are not going to adjust dividends on preferred stock as well. So the first requirement is to calculate the net amount of cash provided by or use for investing activities. So we are going to calculate cash flows from investing activities. And first of all, we have uh, the first is the cash paid. Now, first of all, we have cash received. So, proceeds from sale of equipment. And here you can see the loss of $34,000. So th these are cash proceeds. These are not book value. $156,000 is the cash proceeds. So we are going to take this amount exclusively, the all this amount. Um, so here we have uh, $156,000. The other is uh, proceeds 
from sale of land so these are cash receipts and cash payments these are not book values because if it was book values uh, then we have to adjust the loss or gain in it for the calculation of cash um, so we are just taking these amount directly because these are cash including uh, the adjustment of loss or gain on it uh, so we have one sixty thousand dollars then we have cash payment so cash paid for purchase of equipment which is minus dollar 178,000 so the total cash used or provided by activities are here it is as it is positive this means that these this cash is provided by investing activities okay. provided by investing activities so this is part a and we have cash the other part is what impact if any do the following facts have on your calculation equipment was sold at a loss so the sale of equipment and you can see in bracket thirty four thousand dollars loss is written here and then uh, land was sold at gain so which is uh, fifty thousand gain uh, the the amount of gain or loss is basically um, is reflected in cash receipts figure so there's no need to adjust these things because uh, you know uh, here you can see the cash receipts or cash payment as i have already discussed that this 156000 or or this 160000 already uh, arrived by adjusting gain or loss so uh, while um, in part b there's no need to adjust anything uh, right now because these are actual cash receipts or cash payments so uh, no adjustments are required as these are already uh, these amounts are already adjusted amounts and the c part c part represents uh, briefly explain your decision to exclude of any of the items listed above if they were not included in your calculation as i have already mentioned that those which are represented by cross and red these are the financing activities that's why we have not included it in the investing activities like sale of common stock is a part of financing activities purchase of treasury stock retirement of debt or dividends all these are part of um, other activities like financing activities so that's why we have not included these in investing activities so that's it from this lecture in the coming lecture in the next lecture we will cover cash flows from financing activities so that's it from this lecture take care class